Hello, welcome back to Global. Welcome to Mumbai. Now, in the Indian elections, where voting starts next month, one in ten of the voters will be voting for the first time since 2009. These are the people that are new to the electoral roll. And how they decide to cast their vote could have a critical outcome on this election. Well, I went to a place called St. Xavier's College, wonderful place here in the middle of Mumbai, and I went to the Institute of Communications and spoke to a group of young people about their hopes, their dreams, and whether they were engaged in the political process. There's a lot of hype around. Uh, everyone is talking about it on the news channel. There is, there is like live coverage every time about every politician. So I think it's a very tricky situation where everyone's making their decisions. 10% of this time's voters, they're going to be new first time voters. I'm sure they're pretty clueless about whom they're going to vote because there's so many parties at this point and they're not really sure about which candidate they'd really go for. I think politics is in fashion now and uh, it's all over the news and somehow I feel if you've not kept up, you've not been with the trend. So I think you're compelled to know what's happening because that's all people discuss right now. Social media important in this election? It is very important. We see a lot of Facebook campaigns and Twitter campaigns going about. And uh, in tandem with that, we see a lot of uh, television uh, campaigns run, run by different political parties. So, you know, it's a mixture of all the media. You know, they, they are coming and holding debates in colleges. They're actually coming and talking to you. And it's a two-way communication, especially like social media, where you can actually go and talk to a minister. You can actually ask a question. And that, per and that person actually comes back and, you know, gives you your answers. If you're voting, you're meant to be cool and you're involved in what's happening and you're not indifferent. And I think... Maybe peer pressure, I don't know what, but I think it'd be considered a cool thing if you vote. If I was to ask you what are the main issues in the election, what would you say? Is it the economy? Is it about India's place in the world? Is it about communalism? Is it about corrupt? I mean, you know. There's, there's talks about women empowerment somewhere, somewhere that talks about how we can empower the youth in India. So there are different topics that different parties are taking up and getting in, in front of people. So th these are the topics that I could uh, relate to and connect to that's been talked about. Um, I think in elections, especially this year, when it's going to be a game changer in terms of which party really comes to the power, because it's going to change the dynamics in terms of where India stands, how the world sees India, because each political party has a different stance. Do you think young people will go and vote? I mean, in, you know, yeah. in the UK, for example, the turnout is quite low among young people. I think this time a lot of youngsters will go out there and vote because, uh, you know, it's very important we do so and uh, when you see so much of influences around you, I think you would want to make a change in the country and go and make that vote, you know, important. Do you feel confident about the future? Go on, who would, who would like to go? Do you feel confident about your future, about the state of the economy, about getting a job? Um, well, India is going places, definitely. But I cannot uh, give full confidence to any political party as of yet. It's after they come into power and how they actually start making changes. That's when I'm going to give my full confidence to them. India has enough of jobs in our country. I think the problem is infrastructure. I think people want to move abroad because of a better standard of living, yeah. not because of jobs. In 10 years' time, will you be in India or will you be abroad? How many of you do you think might be abroad? One, two, three, four abroad i would like to go abroad you'd too. like to go abroad you know because it's a whole different culture thing experiencing i would go and want to explore i would that. go abroad but at the end of the day i would like to come back yeah. over yeah. here that's the main aim, uh, right? i'll go around to see places learn more but definitely yeah. india is the place yeah. where i want to want to come back and settle and work definitely.